Hey creators, last week I had posted if any of you knew of an app that'll syndicate a link to Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook. And here's why I had asked. This isn't for my travel site, but I thought you guys might find this interesting um, for either your travel sites or, or one of your other sites, depending on if you have a need for it. So this is my Shopper Freaks newsletter. It's about e-commerce. Okay, I send it once a week on Mondays. I started this subreddit so that I could post news throughout the week for two reasons. One, kind of like a bookmarking feature for me. So at the end of the week, I can go back and look at all the articles that I thought were important each day as I came across them to help me curate news for the weekly newsletter. And then secondly, you know, to kind of create an online presence beyond the newsletter. The newsletter itself might curate the 10 most important uh, items of news, whereas the social media, I could easily share six to 10 articles a day without flooding my social media or without flooding the, the subreddit you know, too hard. Um, so it's it, two-way street. One helps me make the newsletter. The other helps me grow the audience, which in turn helps me grow the subscriber base for the newsletter. Well, I couldn't really find anything great. Um, but I was also using Google Alerts ultimately to help me curate the newsletter each week. So I'd be like, you know, e-commerce was an alert, Shopify, big commerce, et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, I discovered a little bit of a better way to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you. This is Feedly. Uh, a long time ago, Google had a RSS reader called Google Reader, but they discontinued it. This is going back some time. So Feedly kind of stepped in and was like, hey, get started with Feedly, and we'll import all your feeds from, from Google Reader. So I've been using Feedly for a long time. I created this category, whatever they call it on here, called Shopper Freaks. I've also got a ton of other categories just from you know my own uh, curation of news just for as a reader. But anyway, I, I made this one called Shopper Freaks to help me curate the newsletter. Um, I went through and I added um, different Google keyword alerts. Now you do need the pro to do this if you want to do web alerts. Like if I type in Shopify, you can see it'll show me a Canadian company so I can follow news related to it. But Let's say you just have your own website, travelislife.org, for example. You could find it and just add the RSS feed on the free version of the account. You don't need the paid to do the web alerts. Anyway, so here, here's all the news. Um, I can scroll through, and when I find something that is relevant to my audience... Give me one second. Let me... Ah, here we go. So this is an interesting one. I want to save that. So what I did was I set up a board on Feedly. Now, these aren't like Pinterest boards because they are um, private to you, you know? I'll click on my Shop of Freaks board. So it's just a, a list of things that I've saved on a particular board. I could make it public, but in this case, I made it, I made it private. So I'm going to go back to where I was. Where's that article about Georgian? Here we go. And I click Save to Board, Shop of Freaks Newsletter. Then I set up three different applets using ifttt.com. And again, this is all, well, the Feedly isn't free, but it could be for you. I just happened to pay for the advanced one for my purposes. But if you wanted to follow your own blog, for example, as an RSS, you could certainly do that for free. You don't need the pro version. Um, IFTT includes four basic applets for free. Beyond that, you have to pay. So I've got three running. If I add a new article to my Shop of Freaks newsletter board on Feedly, then create a link post on Facebook, Twitter, and here is uh, Reddit. Now, sometimes they're delayed by up to an hour because I have the free version. I don't care. That works for my needs. So I click over here to my subreddit. That looks like it's already run. You can see that I've set the, the title of the article to be the title of the, of the post on Reddit. And of course, the URL is the URL. Then let's jump over to my Shop of Freaks Twitter. Here it is. I customized this just a little bit. Here's the title. Underneath it, I put the URL. And then underneath that, I just put e-commerce tech commerce. I might amend those a little bit in the future, maybe add a few more, have up to six hashtags per, per tweet that goes out. Um, but for now, that was the quickest ones that I could think of just to get this stuff rolling and tested. And I think it's kind of cool because it's already working. So I've been doing this for like the past 30 minutes, testing it. One of the tweets that I already had published 
this company uh, retweeted. So just having that activity is already getting people who follow me or maybe people who find the hashtags uh, engaging with my uh, newsletter Twitter account, which again, this is a Twitter account that I only talk about e-commerce stuff. It has nothing, not personal, not travel related, specifically for the shopper freaks. Finally, jump over here to my Facebook, which I don't really use too much for this and I don't really care. It's not the best platform for connecting with journalists or connecting with companies for these needs, but you know, I needed it to run ads. I had to have a Facebook page to run the Facebook ads to get more subscribers. So I went ahead and set up the page, but I'm really not doing too much with it other than posting my weekly newsletters on it. And um, here it is. And same thing, you know, I put the title, the uh, link is obviously populated. And then I put those three hashtags because apparently Facebook uses hashtags. Today they do, tomorrow they don't, who knows. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that that setup. I thought it was kind of cool. If I had anywhere else to do this, I, I think I'm going to make a LinkedIn because that's another great place to connect with the people in the industry professionals that I want to get subscribed to my newsletter. But I haven't done that yet. However, if I come to Applets and I say create, I do have a fourth free one that I could get. Oh, wait a minute. Was I wrong? Is there only three free? Ah, okay. Excuse me. I was wrong. So there's only three free applets you can use. I thought there was four. Um, <laughs> but I guess what's kind of funny is if I wanted to just create another uh, IFTT account, I might be able to do that. But um, anyway, nonetheless, I uh, hope that helps you somehow, some way. Again, the, the takeaway here is that you can follow your own blog or blogs of other people that you're often sharing their articles, for example, within Feedly. You can add them to your Feedly board that you've created. I just have the one board created right now that's a private board if you'd like it, or you can make it public, but I don't know who follows these things. You set up your IFTT to create the uh, applets. If I post my new board, then blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it shows up on your social media and just to show you really quickly, obviously I'm not going to make a new one because I ran out. But here's how it looks. If, you know, and I and I choose my Shop of Freaks newsletter board, then, and here's my options. So I can put the article title, article URL, and whatever um, hashtags that I want. So if I wanted to add more, I could certainly just do uh, uh, big money. I don't know, ingredients or like like if you ever sent like a mailer light you know you put hi first name and then replaces the first name with, with the actual first name of the subscriber that's what this stuff is too you know you can see this short code right here for that kind of stuff so it gives you ingredients like the author name uh, blah 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 but uh, anyway at the end of the day I just want to keep it simple and have a really quick way for me to save an article or share an article one time and have it go out to my, my three places uh, I might just end up paying for uh, this the pro version of this right here. I don't. I don't see why not. If it would get the job done for me, let's see how much it costs. Oh, okay. It's three dollars and forty cents a month. So if I end up doing the uh, what do you call it, um, LinkedIn, then I, I might. I might go ahead and do that. But for now, I only have these three profiles, so it works. Uh, okay. Hope that helps. Let me know what you think, or if you set it up for yourself. Let me know if you have any issues with it.